Hi everyone, I am Erica. I uh, I live in Lot 111. Uh, a lot of you know me already, but if you don't, um, I am the owner of the Chihuahua that was killed in the dog park two weeks ago. Um, there is a reason why I'm making this video is to explain what happened and to reach out to you uh, to seek for help in some way. I am not a social media person. I don't have any social media on my phone, so this is very hard for me to do. Uh, I only have Facebook on my browser on my phone because I don't even have the app. Uh, that's me as a person. Um, but anyways, um, what happened that day, um, I went to the dog park and there was this guy with his dog. His dog was a large dog, mixed breed, black dog. And um, he was playing fetch with his dog. And I went in with my two dogs, my five pound chihuahua and my uh, French bulldog. My French bulldog went straight to his dog and they, you know, you know, they smell each other, whatever, and everything was okay. I walk, uh, to the dog park and I stay kind of in the middle of the dog park. This guy what was with his dog towards the end of the park. Um, and like I said, he was playing ball. When my dog came back to me, my Frenchie, I kind of give my back looking towards the actual entrance of the dog park. And all of a sudden his dog came, flew by me and my Chihuahua was next to me. And all of those that have seen her before, you know that she's always right next to me and all of a sudden she he just flew by me the dog and attacked my chihuahua right immediately they the attack was right in front of me right right in front of my uh, feet so I grabbed the dog from his collar and I pull him back off of my dog and my chihuahua she just ran away towards the entrance of the dog park and she stays right where the tent is at, where all the plastic chairs and the tables are. And um, she just stares at me from there. Um, so as soon as I saw her, I feel relief because she was okay. And I hand over the dog to this guy, the dog owner. And I even told him, hey, you know, she's fine. Everything is cool. Uh, she's okay. So I handed over the dog, I gave my bag, and I started work, walking towards my dog. Uh, and as soon as I gave a couple of steps, the dog again just flew uh, by me, and he went on attack mode straight to my dog. I ran as fast as I could, but you know there is this wood fence right in front of the entrance. So I ran towards that that way, not thinking that the fence was there. So I have to go down the hill and up the stairs. And he was on attack mode and he grabbed my dog and he, the dog killed my dog, I think, instantly. Uh, one of the residents here, uh, he, he was outside of the dog park. He heard the commotion. I think from the from the start and he went in from the other side of the entrance where the pavilion is at and he started screaming at the dog but the dog would not release my chihuahua and it killed her right there um, I know a lot of you um, have your uh, thoughts about certain breeds uh, my chihuahua she was always there every day with other dogs large or small and she will be okay with any other dog um, she was my ESA and we miss her so much I just got a call from my from their vet saying that their ash, her ashes arrived this morning uh, I've been struggling a lot um, emotionally 
and what makes me upset and concerned is that this guy is still walking around his dog around the community i'm concerned about other dogs especially small ones and um, um i'm just asking and praying for others to be careful with their dogs um, in the dog park especially with this dog uh, nothing has been done towards this guy or his dog he's still like i said walking around his dog in the community um, i have reached out animal control they are investigating but basically they told me my case is not a priority and my um my uh you know the, the investigation is still ongoing and basically they need it has to be another attack or another incident uh, recorded towards this dog and dog owner for they to actually do something um, so I'm, I'm gonna ask you to please if you are afraid of this dog or whatever the case might be you should reach out to animal control so they can file a complaint because they said nobody else has done it um, what happened to me can happen to any of you in this community, especially if you have small dogs. Um, me and my husband, we appreciate everyone that has come to us. In any way, uh, to comfort us, even though we are new in this community. Um, and those that have praying for us, those that were there for me when I was hysterical trying to save my baby. Um, uh, I just wanted to reach out to say thank you to everyone to give you the, the story how it actually happened. Uh, and to please be careful with your dogs, to reach out animal control, and uh, and thank you again. And um, I'm going to show you uh, my new baby. This is Nala the second. Okay, she doesn't replace my Nala, but she will be my emotional dog. Actually, she is a service dog. Um, she's not an ESA. She's a service certified dog. Um, She's always with me. She just came home yesterday, but she hasn't left my side. So, uh, and not she's not going to be in the dog park, but you are more than welcome to stop by our lot, 111, and say hi to her. Um, she's very sweet, and she's not afraid of anybody or anyone. Uh, so, this is her. This is Nala the second. <laughs> so... Again, everyone, thank you very much for your support. And I, again, I just wanted you to reach out. Uh, and um, if you have any questions, you can message me. I have, I do have Messenger. Uh, but thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And again, also thank you from my family, from my husband too, because she, he's been struggling as well. But thank you.